Go. Okay, so on to how we're actually powering this thing. So at the moment we're using two power boxes. Uh, the reason we're doing this is it's meant to be run off four D cell batteries, which are 1.5 volt each. And uh, after thinking around with this for a while, we realized that the reason they're doing this is you have two batteries here with negative, positive, and another two batteries on the opposite side in the opposite direction with negative, positive. So what it's actually doing is just switching between using the two different sources of power. It's not using the four together. So you can either get flow in one direction or flow in the opposite direction. So to turn the motors one direction, you basically get these two batteries working together. And to get the motor to work, work in the opposite direction, you're using the opposite two batteries because the priority is different. Okay? So what we want to do is we actually want to put a much smaller power supply in here, maybe a lithium PO battery, uh, pack it into the corner here so we've got a lot more space kind of vacant in the back here. And the idea then is that we are going to throw in some kind of microcontroller, maybe a PIC microcontroller, and maybe an Adreno board. And we're also going to stick a Bluetooth chip in there. Everything gets Bluetooth. Everything gets Bluetooth from now on. So we'll be able to control this guy wirelessly and do some interesting things with it. Maybe you control it with a tablet, maybe you control it with a, an app on, on your, your phone. And we're hoping to maybe play checkers with it or maybe a game of chess or something. And there you have it. Fun